Oh look, there's a train coming. Better wait for it. Hmm. I have an idea. Might be crazy. But it's gonna be awesome. Hanging out with the trains. Anyway, welcome to another episode of the Crew Beta, and today we're going to be uh, exploring the, I guess you could say, railroad, but I also decided to call this Extreme Rail Fan Inclus, because why not? But anyway, yeah. It's pretty cool just seeing the trains actually working in this game. I mean, not a lot of games do this. I mean, Grand Theft Auto had that, and here comes another train. Grand Theft Auto had that, and stuff like that. Anyway, with that freight train, I actually noticed the boxcars are open. I'm thinking, can you actually drive into those boxcars while it's parked in the yard area or whatever? I wonder if you can actually drive into those and just go for a ride with the train. That'll be kind of cool. If you actually can. And it'll be funny too, just drive by a person and be like, Hey dude, what's up? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be very funny. And apparently can't go there. Thank you for the nitrous. I didn't actually need it, but whatever. So he's just driving around now. Outside of the railroad tracks, but anyway. Now there was something I wanted to talk about, but yeah, also I noticed with the different specs of cars, as you can see with the dirt spec, there is a lot of health with this car, as you can see a lot of health bars. But with certain other cars, there might be less health bars, as I've noticed. With the Ford GT that'll be coming in the next episode. The switches are kind of weird with the trains, but whatever. <laughs> Fly. And there's an idle train right there. But anyway, yeah, I just like these little details they have here. Pretty nice details in this game. I just, like, love them. And, yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, what the? Uh, I've broke the game. Okay, fix it now. How is that a failure? Okay, that was a very odd glitch. But yeah, I'm just pretending to be the train. So yeah. Ouch. And there's another train. That'd be crazy if there was like a train going straight up towards me. I'd be like, oh no! No, I'm just kidding. Uh, still, this is awesome. But certain parts of the map are actually closed off with the trains, which is kind of a bit of a bummer, but yeah. Ouch. Uh, so, yeah. Oop, yep, there's a little closed area of the map. Now, where's that train, by the way? I hear it, I don't see that train, though. Where are you, train? Oh, there's another closed area. So as you can see, yeah, my car goes through the tracks, which is kind of weird, but, you know. There's nothing really that could be done about that, but, yeah. I do have to say, this is actually quite a fun game. If I did have a choice between getting Forza Horizon 2, if I had an Xbox, if I had a choice between getting this or Forza Horizon 2, I would get this. Because the entire US and the amount of customization this game has is quite amazing. And I just went through that pole a little. A little. Coming through! Hmm, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, I really, uh, really enjoyed playing the crew beta. It was a lot of fun. Just driving around. And uh, yeah. Just having fun. And I can't wait for the next crew beta. Which is going to be coming soon and... Yeah, as you can tell, the dirt cars actually drift a lot more than the other cars. Which is interesting. Well, I guess that would be appropriate. Train! What, you thought I was going to run into the train? Not that stupid. Well, not stupid, not that daring. But yeah, the dirt spec cars drift a lot more than the normal cars, and that's kind of realistic because the dirt cars would have uh, less grip than normal cars. So, yeah. 
And another train. Ridiculous. There's just trains everywhere. Well, it's not ridiculous. It's just crazy. I was hoping I'd see a train there, but no, there's nothing there. What I find weird with the dirt, dirt spec cars, they all come with spoilers. Why do they need spoilers? I don't know. Because why not? I mean, uh, going back to the topic of go being able to ride with the trains, I mean, if you were allowed to ride th with the trains, you could actually explore pretty much a lot of the map. Like if you get onto it somewhere in the middle of the map, and you just use it as a way to explore the map without you really doing anything. I mean, you could just go AFK and just hang out on the train, and, we'll, and then the, the train will do all the exploring for you automatically, which that'd be kind of cool. But if that if it works, that is. But I will investigate to see if it works in the next beta when the next beta comes out, which is in August the 25th. So yeah, ooh, there's a little ramp there going over the train tracks. That's kind of cool. So yeah, there's a little jumping challenge. And of course you can see you can teleport around. Okay, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!